Hi, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here at the Rutenberg Library. I uh, come to you with uh, another bookshelf tour tonight, and uh, hope you've enjoyed these so far. I want to continue to try to do these for you. I know they seem to be some of the more popular videos I do, so trying to continue showing you the collection. Uh, had to turn the light on, starting to get a little dark in the room, and had to, you know, take the glare off the dome, so uh, excuse the hat. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and start this tour. This is the second case, and it is the one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth uh, shelf on the second case in the upper room. Uh, I think I told you in the last video, we we cut, I went and took a board, a couple boards and cut them up and added in an extra shelf into all my cases. And so I kind of redid the books a little bit to make them have, or allow them to have a little bit more space. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So first book on the shelf. This is The Years of Upheaval by Henry Kissinger. Of course, Henry, Henry Kissinger, longtime Secretary of State. There he is right there. Uh, in the uh, uh, 70s, 1970s. Uh, this is from Little Brown and Company out of Boston, and it was printed in 1982. Henry Kissinger was probably considered one of our best secretaries of state. Maybe that's arguable, I don't know, but uh, everything I've read, he was really good. Um, work, he worked a lot with Nixon when Nixon was president. Next book on the shelf is My Life with Martin Luther King Jr. And this is by Coretta Scott King. And there's that book. And there's the family portrait with Coretta in the middle and of course Martin Luther King Jr. there in the background. This book was from Holt Reinhardt and Winston out of New York and it is a 1969 book. Of course Coretta Scott King uh, had to suffer through her husband's assassination and uh, you know that was a very very sad time in American history and sad for her obviously um, you know your heart kind of goes out to her um, next book on the shelf is a biography on Kissinger uh, entitled Kissinger uh, by Marvin Cab and Bernard Cab And there's your authors on the on the back. Sorry about that glare. And uh, this is from Little Brown and Company, uh, Boston, and 1974. You know, I did a video a while back asking for the most boring book cover. You know, one of the book ta uh, book tags, most boring cover. That's got to rank up there. That is a very boring cover. Uh, I must have forgot I even had this when I did that book tag. Anyway, next book on the shelf that I really look forward to because I've really loved the Oxford History of the United States books, the one on the you know, James McPherson's book on the, the Civil War, Battle Cry for Freedom, and then uh, there was another one by, I think it was Gordon Wood on the American Revolution. Was that him? No, he was the he did the one on the founding of the nation. Uh, the one on the American Revolution was um, oh goodness. Well, I'll put it down below. I can't remember. I can't remember who it was. I'm going blank. But uh, anyway, I've I've loved every one of those books, and this is in that series also. This one also won the Pulitzer Prize for history. This is What Hath God Wrought: The Transformation of America, 1815 to 1848. So this is. Uh, by Daniel Walker Howe. This is on that, uh, basically on the period in history where we had just tons and tons of growth. Western expansion, Oregon Trail, all that good stuff was going full bore. Of course, it's from the Oxford University Press. And uh, this is a 2007 book. 2007. But I've always liked all of those Oxford History United States series. I think they're really good. Um, here is a college text that I used in my geography class in college. Across this land, a regional, geogra a regional geography of the United States and Canada by John C. Hudson. And uh, this was a good book. I mean, not my favorite text, but uh, it was good. Just wasn't my favorite. Maybe it was that time of my life too. I might not have been 
as serious as I should have been about college at that point. This is a 2002 book from John Hopkins University Press. I think I think it's a pretty decent one, but uh, I just don't remember it as being one of my favorites. Again, probably the time period. Um, this is Lincoln at Cooper Union, the speech that made Abraham Lincoln president by Harold Holzer. Harold Holzer is an excellent, excellent author on Lincoln. He's done numerous, numerous books on Lincoln, and I've always loved his stuff. I've not read this one, but I've loved all of his other stuff. This is a Simon & Schuster book out of New York, and it is 2004. And, um, well, you could see, you know, both those lists are all the books Harold Holzer's done. A lot of them are uh, ones he edited, but it's all done on pretty much all on Lincoln. He's a huge Lincoln historian. All right, here is the memoir of Herbert Hoover, 1920 to 1933, The Cabinet and the Presidency. And, of course, um, Herbert Hoover is an Iowa guy. Um, don't have a book cover for this one. Sorry about that. Hope you could see that. But uh, he's an Iowa president. I think he's he gets the raw end of the deal a lot with, uh, you know, when you look at the Great Depression, he was the president at the start of it. Um, I think the Great Depression in a lot of cases was something that was just, it was really bound to happen. I don't know if anybody really could have fixed the situation. Um, but um, anyway... Uh, the Macmillan Company out of New York, and it's a 1952 book. 1952. Hi, Clover. Hi, Clover. My doggie's wanting to visit. Hi, Clover. You want to come visit? No? She's shy. I've made a lot of these videos, and she's only been in one video, and I kind of had to force her into that. She's, she, she, um, she's shy. <laughs> anyway. Here is uh, the, uh, the Americans, The Democratic Experience by Daniel J. Borston. I showed you in the last video three paperbacks of this same series. Um, excellent History of the United States. Um, Borston's a pretty famous historian. He's edited several um, book series, if I'm not mistaken. And this is A Random House Out of New York, 1973. I have not read his work before. That's when, so when I saw these, that's why I bought them. Is I hadn't read them, so I wanted to wanted to read these. And I take that back. That's a double. I have the hardback and then the paperback up on the upper shelf. I was thinking it was a fourth one in the series. Maybe that only had three in it. Yeah, doesn't matter. Um, all right, here's another one of those popular histories uh, of late, and this is. Uh, Killing Lincoln, The Shocking Assassination That Changed America Forever by Bill O'Reilly and Martin DeGuard. Um, and this this was an okay book. I, um, I'm not saying it was bad, but it was definitely a very slanted conservative opinion. And um, I don't know. I, I don't want to say too much. It, it was a good read, but knowing knowing the history of Lincoln like I did I could definitely tell that this had a huge conservative slant to it and um, so anyway it's from the Henry Holton company out of New York and uh, it's 2011 yeah I don't really I don't want to say a whole lot because I know there are a lot of fans out there of the of the Bill O'Reilly books and I've read a few of them and they're all right but they are very conservatively slanted not a big surprise though so anyway this is the best team money can buy, the Los Angeles Dodgers' wild struggle to build a baseball powerhouse by Molly Knight. This is one of those books that I bought at um, the Dollar Tree for a dollar, another baseball history or baseball book. This is a Simon & Schuster book printed out of New York, and it is 2015, but I got that for a buck. What a good steel deal and I did start this I never finished it I did start it though it was quite interesting yeah I didn't get very far there's my bookmark uh, let's see I got clear till page uh, thir uh, 12 12 I got 12 pages in I need to get back to that because it was a good book what I was reading so far um, here's another sports book the players first coaching from the inside out by John Calipari and Michael Sokolov and I read, I don't know if I read this whole thing or if this is another one that I read. Nope, I read part of it and then put it down. 
I kind of you can kind of see my my bookmark there. I didn't get real far in that one either. Got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I was excited. Being a coach, I was excited to try that out. Uh, this is a Penguin Press out of New York, the year 2014. So there's two sports books I probably need to get back to sometime in the near future. All right, here's one of those books I've had for a very long time that I've only taken bits and pieces, but I'm almost scared to try it because it is a door stopper. It is huge. This is the Pre-Columbian Cities by Georgie Hardaway. And, uh, you know, you got a lot on the Incas, the Aztecs, and the Mayans. This is translated by Judith Thorne. And it is a Walker and Company out of New York. And it is from the year, if I can get the page to work with me here. Uh, 1973 it looks like this is just a beast of a book it's big well maybe it's thick pages it's not as big as I thought it's only 602 pages so I take that back I shouldn't be so intimidated I guess here is well this one's another big one this is a 853 page book it's the wise men six friends and the world they made by Walter Isaacson and Evan Thomas. Both authors I have read and both authors I enjoyed. So this is one, when I found this, I was pretty excited to pick it up. I got it for, did I get that one for a couple bucks, I think is what I got. I got this one out of Wiseman's. This is a touchstone book published by Simon & Schuster Incorporated out of New York, 1986. But like I said, I've read both of those authors before and other works and I loved them so I uh, look forward to reading that here I am on my uh, Civil War kick right at the moment so here's a Civil War book the story of the Confederacy by Robert Self Henry uh, forward by Douglas Southall Freeman another southern historian so there's that and of course you got old Jeff Davis on the back um, this is a Konecki and Konecki, and it is from, 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 I don't see a date on it. Yeah, I don't see a date on it at all. Well, sorry about that, can't find a date. I'm sure I could look it up and find it, but uh, anyway, moving forward. This is Rise Up in Anger, Latin America Today. Uh, by Robert A. Karlo Karlowich. This is a dated book. This is not going to be um, something that will really help you in your Latin American studies right now. It's from our Bedford Library. Julian Messner out of New York, and it's a 1985 book. So there's a lot that's changed since that came out, but still an interesting study. All right, very end of our tour here. This tour is going to be a lot shorter than the other one, uh, the previous one. So this is Giants, The Parallel Lives of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. This is by John Stauffer. Um, this is an advanced reading copy that I got. Um, supposed to be published in November 3rd, 2008 in hardcover. I don't know if that's when it got, I'd have to look it up to see if that's when it did get published. Here's your author there. Of course, I've been doing some reading on Frederick Douglass. So this is from 12 Publishers, New York, and copyrights 2008, according to this. So um, I'm guessing it probably came out on time. But um, yeah, look forward to reading that. I love Lincoln. I enjoy reading about Frederick Douglass. So it should be good. Now, some of you older people might remember Bill Maudlin's Army. Uh, Bill Maudlin's greatest World War II cartoon. So he's a, a cartoonist out of the World War II era. A lot of his stuff made the newspapers. Uh, pretty famous if you, you know, if you see his cartoons, you you recognize his caricatures. And the whole thing's just all political or uh, military cartoons, political cartoons that were put out during the World War II era. Ooh, cool. This is when Bill Maudlin died. This is a, a newspaper printing from the Des Moines Register. That's kind of neat. Anyway, this book is uh, Presido. Uh, 
let's see this was printed 1979 it looks like 1979 nope excuse me 1984 1984 sorry about that so anyway pretty famous cartoonist of that time all right next book on the shelf is a uh, baseball fans delight called the sluggers those fabulous long ball hitters okay and this is uh of course a younger it's for a younger reader but i still enjoy it because i'm a big baseball fan it's a little bit dated but that's all right it's by john hallway he was uh, the contributing editor and the editors of Redefinition. So it's a Redefinition book. Uh, 1989 is when it came out. But it's it's got all kinds of stuff. It uh, just talks about all the different uh, hitters of the eras and gives some of their statistics. Great, uh, you know, great color photos and all kinds of good stuff. It's a baseball fan's delight. If you're a statistician, somebody who loves stat, uh, statistics, you're going to like that one. All right, this is a study guide and map supplement for the Western experience. And those are some textbooks I showed you in previous videos. Nothing special here. This is just the companion. And it is the, let's see, the McGraw-Hill Company, 1999. 1999. And the last one on this shelf of this tour is... Mr. President, and I don't have a cover for this. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a quote from Truman there. I'll go ahead and open it up here. It'll be easier to read. All right, so this says, Mr. President, the first publication from the personal diaries, private letters, papers, and revealing interviews of Harry S. Truman, the 32nd President of the United States, from William Hillman, pictures by Alfred Wagg, this is from Farrar, Strauss, and Young out of New York. And it's a 1952 book. So it's got a little age to it. But it's just got a whole bunch of different things that he wrote and pictures and stuff. And yeah, quite interesting. All right, so that's the, this, that's the end of this shelf tour. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has been uh, you know, worth your time. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, BookTube, you have a great night.